Hi, I'm Dr. John Baker. I'm a chiropractic doctor in Longview, Texas, and today I want to talk about a condition that can be fairly dangerous, and that's called cellulitis. First of all, cellulitis has nothing to do with cellulite, that dimply cottage cheese appearance to fat. No, cellulitis is a diffuse inflammation of connective tissue, especially the dermal and subcutaneous layers get extremely inflamed and infected. And the presenting symptoms are often the same symptoms you'd expect out of inflammation. It's going to be warm to the touch, there's going to be swelling, there's, it's going to be painful. And for example, if you have an area like that, like, let's say a toe that starts to getting like that, you might start seeing streaks. Um, normally the, the treating doctor doesn't culture it. It's usually, these, uh, these problems are usually caused by strep or staph, which are fairly common in the environment. And often they say that unless it's uh, gone into sepsis, you're not going to get much of a culture anyway. But if there should be some tailoring um, of the antibiotic to the disease, because if it's MRSA, which is immune to a lot of the uh, antibiotics that we use for a, a more benign form of staph, then you're going to have to move up to a stronger form. They often use amoxicillin, cephalexin is a common used uh, antibiotic. And for example, if we're talking about in the toe, they might also have you to soak um, with a Epsom salts, that's magnesium sulfate uh, solution. The two most common areas to uh, get cell cellulitis are in the lower limb, lower extremity, lower leg, and in the face. And it can happen as far as, you know, what causes it. Well, you might have a break in the skin, a cut, a scratch, but you don't have to have that. And usually it attacks folks who are elderly, folks who are, for some reason, immunologically compromised, or folks who have diabetes. So those three groups really need to be careful. And like I say, it can get really serious. You can get sepsis from this. So you need to be very careful. You can also have... Another condition going on at the same time called erysipelas, and an erysipelas also causes warmth and rubor, redness, but um, the edges of an erysipelas infection are more well defined, whereas with a cellulitis they tend to be blurred and spread out and not well defined. So uh, that's the story on cellulitis. Again, it's very important to catch this early because it can become very serious. It can cause tissue destruction. In fact, it can be so bad they have to debride or cut out the dead tissue, and you certainly don't want that on your face. So, like I said, uh, it's you know not the end of the world, but it's not something to just blow off and go, well, it'll get better on its own because chances are it, uh, it might not. And uh, I hope you don't get it. I hope you have a great day. And I hope this helped you understand what cellulitis is.